Hello everyone and welcome back to Outside the Cookie Jar. I'm Jackie, Jackie the Baker. And today we're going to be making some butterscotchies. Oh, milk butterscotchies brownie bars. Now, um, that sounds really good, doesn't it? Yay. Anyway, uh, first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you want to add two-thirds a cup of all-purpose flour, two-thirds a cup of oatmeal. Um, and here, you can use instant or old-fashioned. I just have instant on hand, so I'll just use this. Plus, you want to add six tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix it in. And then if you want, you can add like a pinch of salt. Um, but I always use salted butter in everything, all my recipes. So um, there's that. Set this aside. And that goes on later. Okay, first, for the brownies. I have in this bowl one and a half cups of butterscotch chips. You could use any type of butterscotch chips you like. Um, you know, these melt really well. Um, I actually got these at Aldi's. Um, I don't remember the brand of it though. But you want to melt this the butterscotch chips with one and a half cups of melted butter. Um, you could also use margarine if you prefer margarine. So you want to pour that in the bowl. Then you want to put, let's see, what do I have here? Half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. Put that there. I left my brown sugar out a little longer than I wanted to. Get this off crunching. Um, <laughs> don't let your brown, don't let your brown sugar out like I did, like in a bowl of white sugar, because it will be kind of a hassle to decrunch. And yes, that is a word because I just that's my word, decrunch everything. Um, so once you um, have this fully incorporated and you know. Combined. Just don't do what I did right here. Okay. Right here. All right. After this, you want to put. Um, what I have here: two whole eggs and one egg yolk. You want to go ahead and beat them slightly. And this is where you, if you want to put vanilla in here, you certainly can. Um, I would just add maybe half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not going to put vanilla in these. I personally don't think it needs it. Because I like to um, just go with the butterscotch. The butterscotch flavor. So. Got this here. I didn't put all that in there. a hard workout. Your arm is getting a workout. And you have to decrunch everything. Here is one cup of flour. So you really don't want to over mix these guys. Just um, 
mix and so combined. Okay, it's mixed now. I have a nine by nine baking pan. I used parchment and then I sprayed it with, you know, spray. So do that. Um, you can use an eight by eight if you like. Um, just be wary, it will take longer to bake. So now we're just gonna pull these in. I had the clothespins on my baking dish um, because it keeps the um, the paper in place while I uh, pour the batter in. In case anybody wants to know why I always have a clothespin on my baking tray. So you just want to spread that in. So try to spread it as evenly as possible. Now you want to take the mixture, the oatmeal mixture, the crumb topping. And if you want, you can add like a few more of the chocolate chips, I'm sorry, the butterscotch chips. Okay, once you spread everything on there, it should look just about like this. Now. I did spread a little bit more of the butterscotch chips on there. So, take these little babies off. And you want to pop these in the oven. Um, I would say give them about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Like I always say, it's depending on your oven. So, my oven may be different from yours, which I'm sure it is. But, um, uh, just watch out. You know, but it's at 350. I would check it about 22 minutes and see um, how that goes. And uh, if it's not done, you know, just use your eye and tell by when a toothpick comes out clean. No, it should have, you know, should be a little fudgy. Actually, I like mine pretty gooey, so I'm going to put it out a little more. So, okay. Let's go 20, 25 minutes on me. It's because I like my gooey. If you like it a little bit more done, I will wait 25, 30 minutes. All right, guys, let's dive into my oatmeal scotchy bars. Oatmeal butterscotch G bars. So, I'm trying to rename them here. Okay, this is what it looks like. And out of the oven, and I let it cool for one minute. So, there we go. I kind of like the, the middle piece here. So, let's go for that. Oh, you can see you got like the butterscotch right down here, and you got the oatmeal scotchy part on top right here. Looky, looky. All right, taste test. Mm. Yeah. If you like oatmeal scotchy cookies, you're going to like this. And I guarantee you, it's, you can only eat one because there's oatmeal and everything. Fiber stuff. So, hmm, it's really good. Oatmeal scotchy bars. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you like it, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. And I will see you next recipe. Love you guys.